Hey guys. <laughs> On today's episode of Straight Lenses, uh, I'm going to show you how to build a poor man's version of a uh, startup, like a remote start uh, button and function. Uh, so you can actually putz around with your car uh, and you don't have to have a second person turn the ignition key. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. This is uh, a carry-on from the nonsense I, I've had uh, to endure with the crank no start uh, situation. Started out as a fuel pump, fuel pump relay. Uh, once I had that situated, ran great for a couple of days and then it began start really hard during cold starts. That's going to be on another episode, but today a Pullman's version of a remote start. When I say remote start, obviously um, it's not like wireless, but wired remote. And little known fact is this is the, a three pin connector where the, the pink white wire goes to the starter relay. I've disconnected it and I have used a couple of um, these connectors here. You need a whole bunch of these. Uh, the female end I connected here and now I can connect yellow to the bottom. The number one. Ah, God. So, that one there. This one, the, my red one, is the one that's this sucker here that is going to connect to my battery. And then the top one, number three, I'll just make another straight connection here. Ugh. Like I said, it's the poor man's version. If I ever uh, spent more money on an old wiring harness, I'm gonna get uh, actually old wi uh, plugs. Now, you need a temporary button that closes the contact. And that one is connected to this one, which I will connect over here to the plus side of my battery. Be careful. Because that one is now hot. And I can go ahead and start. I'm gonna put the ignition on here in a sec. I know now what the, I think I know what the problem is with uh, the, the crank no start, but anyway, here's what, what I was able to do. Um, I can measure compression, uh, ignition, fuel injection, all kinds of stuff. And there you go. And that is how easy you can make a small little contraption that, uh, allows you to work on your own car by yourself and you don't have if you have somebody who can help you and and put the car into ignition great if not this would be a Pullman's version to get going again if you need any help figuring that out um, <laughs> sketching diagram or what let me know but other than that this is um, pretty straightforward All right, guys, I think I found a smoking gun with the uh, crank no start and I'm waiting for a couple of parts to come in. And once I have them in, I'm gonna put them in and that's gonna be another video. Otherwise, I'm gonna truck on forward with uh, um, troubleshooting. Yeah. I hope you like this short little video. If the channel like, recommend it to others. 
that can help somebody else do and stuff and work on their own cars, the better. Take care. Bye-bye.